So a lot of people who've been waking up lately and experiencing whatever, they've kind of they feel like, oh, I'm different than I was in the past. I'm different than I was when I was the ego or whatever terms you may want to use. Uh, for me, when before I began my spiritual journey, um, the ego felt like it, it was on top of the world. It was winning at everything. It was the best at everything. And that feeling, it was a very real feeling. Uh, but the building blocks of it and how that being operated, uh, it harmed others. It basically like created a bunch of karmic situations to be resolved. Um, and what I'm noticing with this shift now is that all of those feelings of triumph and completion and best is being felt again but now it's being felt through the heart and it's being felt with every other being that is here with us and the the things that we have done the things that we've created or think or or anything at all anything that could be attached to hey i did that hey i you know i'm this good or or whatever none of that could be had unless every other being in this game, in this place, in this existence, beings that are part of everything, none of that could be had unless every single one of those beings was doing those same perfect things within themselves. So it's just a, a really good point in the direction of everything truly is perfect. Every thought you've had every action you took, any anything, it's exactly as it should be and should have been and will be because we are just, you know, these non-physical beings perceiving this physical place and kind of watching it as the most intense movie ever created, the most, like, intense video game <laughs> ever created, and it's like, we're at the final boss. We know the game can be beat because there's a strategy guide, but the strategy guide part of the game is for the final boss. It was ripped out, so we have to do it completely off the book. But it's so familiar because we were the creators of that game, and it was just so dense and so expansive and profound that we got lost in it. But it wasn't even lost because it was all orchestrated to be that way, to have each being experience those feelings. And I just want to bring awareness to notice, you know, how you're feeling now as opposed to how you felt before. Regardless of time and space and past or future or whatever, just remember, like, you know, your consciousness that you are those experiences that you've experienced, they happened or are happening or whatever, and there were very real feelings attached to those experiences. And it's always, you know, it's a benefit and a pleasurable experience to, you know, travel back in those places and be that person again and see where you came from see how you're feeling now in relation to those and just you know everything is everything so even if you're like oh the ego or the mind or the soul or past life or future life or now it's all you know it it's all God it's all source it's all everything so that means it's real. You know, real things were felt. And it's just so awesome to, to go through these things and be like, oh, I felt this way even though I was doing all of these things wrong. You know, that wrong is a judgment regardless if that's good or bad. But that feeling, you know, was felt. And at the end of the experience, you know, everyone's going to be feeling limitless and bliss and peace and relaxation and all of these great things. The beings will feel anything that they want to feel, but that feeling, it's going to be shared. 
that feeling of unity of connecting into that consciousness that we are, it's going to be shared. And, you know, that just means that regardless of the specifics, it is what it is, and it's simple. You know, it's complicated, but it's the most simple thing ever. And that's a pretty cool thing, I think. Can I share something with you? Yes. While you were speaking and doing your segment, I pulled some cards, and they were just really intriguing cards because the first one I pulled, the first one I pulled was the sacro chakra card, which means you were talking from your sacro chakra and your confidence level, and nice. just not your not really your ego, just strictly from your your chakras. And then the next ones I pulled, I pulled three pretty much together. And it was the mental conflict card, the obstacles and challenges, and the emotional withdrawal, which was exactly what you were talking about, how people are going through things and need to withdraw themselves from them. So it was perfect alignment with all of that. And the last one was the passion ignited, which was you being able to speak about it and ignite others' passion into really getting into themselves. Yeah. Describes it very well, indeed. I love oracle cards sometimes. Yeah, it's like, I don't, like, I... For those of you that know me quite personally, you know, I was always very logically oriented, speaking through the mind, speaking through the ego. Uh, it's, it's learned talents and all of this stuff. And now, you know, even though I say that the ego is the same being as the soul and all of this stuff, it's just kind of like I, I, I feel out what's going on and I speak. I don't even speak. I just intuitively tune into different frequencies and the brain takes action on the voice box and, you know, things come out of here. And it's, you know, you, the people who hear these frequencies, these vibrations, you know, take what they can take and leave, you know, whatever is not for them and it all works out perfectly. So it really doesn't even matter what I'm saying because everyone's getting a different message from it. And it's, you know, if you can be simple and broad at the same time, but you know, really speaking from speaking from the consciousness instead of speaking about consciousness, you can really assist others in a very nice way, and really serve them instead of serving you know yourself trying to gain something. You know, nothing needs to be gained. But those cards are sweet. <laughs> the 